Okay, so I'm gonna find it. Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Risi Manaig. I'm a wife, mom, entrepreneur who is willing to share my experiences for you to be able to start your own business journey. And today, we are going to do a tutorial of how to sublimate a wine tumbler. But first, I am going to show you all the items that you need for you to be able to do the project. So first off, the very first thing that you really need is the sublimation printer. So this is EcoTank printer and you can convert any Epson EcoTank into a sublimation printer. All you need to do is buy a sublimation ink which I actually don't have at the moment, but I'm just telling you now that you have to purchase a sublimation and put it in the sublimation printer, such as Epson EcoTank. And next one would be the sublimation blanks. So these are the types of blanks that you can use and it's very important that you buy with the word sublimation because sometimes there are mugs out there that are available in Dollarama and they are not a sublimation coat. So it's important that you read the fine print or the description that it has sublimation coating. So these are the examples of tumblers, of sublimation tumblers that we have available at www.basicops.com such as 20 ounce skinny tumbler and 12 ounce wine tumbler. And we also have 12 ounce and 15 ounce sublimation mug. Okay, next one would be the sublimation paper. I got a couple of questions on my Instagram before if they can use a regular paper to do up sublimation projects, which is no, you can't do that. You have to purchase a sublimation paper such as this one. And this is a sub sublimation paper and this is my most favorite one and you can find it under my Amazon finds. It is very good, high quality, and the colors are very vibrant. And the next one that you would need would be a heat press. And this is my favorite one from Better Sub and they are available also on Amazon. And it's very important for you to read the, the manual because every blanks have different time pressure and temperature so it's very important for you to read the manual and keep it because sometimes when you get these kind of items you just throw away and then later on you forget on what temperature and and time that you need for your project the last thing that you would need is a heat resistant gloves because once you have sublimated the tumblers or the mugs it would be very very hot and it's important for you to protect yourselves and not to burn yourself so you really need to have this one as well okay so i'm we are going to do a project and it will be eight pieces of wine tumblers it's for an order that i got from etsy so i'm gonna show it to you from start to finish so yeah i'm pretty excited let's go oh welcome to my workspace and these are all the sublimation tumblers that we got and we are working today and I'm not sure if you can see so we are just going to put names and chic happens onto the tumbler so yeah the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to print it into my sublimation printer so I have to set it to the Epson one and then the settings would be sublimation and make sure that you have paper into your printer and then you just print it. So I already have a default settings for my Epson printers such as like a presentation matte print, high quality mirror, mirror image. Hi guys, so we got the paper right here and we are just gonna cut out. And I'm going to fast forward this one because it's take a little time. We are done cutting the pieces and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to align them into the wine tumbler. 
And I actually forgot to say this earlier, you also need to have a heat resistant tape. And this is very important. And you have to purchase a very good quality one because there are lots of bad quality out there in Amazon. If you are interested in the one that I'm using, I have it in my Amazon finds and it's for sure that it's not going to leave a residue into your mug or tumbler. So this one is good. I'm gonna fast forward again so that I, I will put all these into all the tumblers. So I'm gonna fast forward and you can see. So we have to preheat the heat press to 365 degrees and now we can put the tumblers and as I said earlier because this is for a 20 ounce tumbler I can put like two wine tumblers at a time so I'm just gonna put, put a little space on the other side and we're going to press this for 45 seconds So once we put in the next one, we can remove this one now. So be careful, the tumbler is really hot. There you go. So we got our first one. And while we're waiting, we're just going to continue removing the other ones. And we are down to our last batch. That's why I love, really love this for the 20 ounce because it's long and I can put two wine tumblers at a time. It makes my work faster. Be careful not to use like sharp objects to peel this because actually I tried did it before. I tried to peel this tape with a sharp weeding tool and it kind of scratched the tumbler. So I wasn't really happy about it. So that's why I'm taking my patience, removing it just with my nails. Okay, and that was the last brush. Turn that off. And I'm just going to continue removing the tape and the paper for these remaining ones. Okay, and we are done. And the next thing I do, I just put my card in it. Like my cup care instructions. And business card. Okay. And it's done.
have it guys you see it's so easy to make sublimation wine tumbler and it's a good addition to your shop so if you love the video please like share and subscribe and ring that notification bell for more see you next time